Welcome back. I have a video today about the type 7 on the Enneagram. This is an overview video that will help you understand where the patterns of a type 7 comes from, from childhood, and it will give you some basic information about the type itself. So let's dive in. largely unconscious feeling of disconnection from a nurturing figure, often the mother. They have a very deep frustration resulting from feelings of being cut off from a maternal nurturance at an early age. This leads to the sevens deciding that they need to nurture themselves, not going to sit around and wait for someone to take care of me, I'll take care of myself. This does not mean that they were not close to their mothers. This can be caused from another sibling coming along and taking the attention away from them, or by another sibling having an early illness, or a mother having an illness taking attention away from the seven. During the separation phase of childhood, sevens rely heavily on distraction, toys, games, friends, etc. This helps them tolerate the anxiety. As long as sevens can continue to find distractions along the way, they are able to curtail their frustrations, fear, and hurt. If they are unable to find these transitional objects, their anxiety and emotional conflicts crowd into conscious awareness. Panicky feelings ensue and sevens are again on a quest to find distraction. The more intense the actual childhood deprivation and frustration, the more intensely the seven will need to occupy their minds with distractions. The childhood message of the seven. It's not okay to depend on anyone for anything. Childhood tendencies. Having an excellent imagination, being adventurous, being fiercely independent, knowing how to self-soothe, being detached emotionally, being funny and playful, and being caring and loving. Sevens as children are action-oriented and adventuresome. They drum up excitement. They prefer being with other children as to being alone. They finesse their way around adults. They dream of the freedom they'll have when they grow up. Sevens as parents are often enthusiastic and generous. They want their children to be exposed to many adventures in life. They may be too busy with their own activities to be attentive. Core fears being limited, being bored, feeling incomplete, feeling inferior, missing out on something, feeling disappointed, being trapped in emotional pain. The defense mechanism of sevens is rationalization. They practice positive reframing as a way to avoid feelings of pain, discomfort, sadness, guilt, and anxiety. They process their unacceptable or inappropriate thoughts, feelings, and behaviors without truly allowing themselves to reflect on their true motivations, intentions, or even the repercussions of their behavior. They justify their behavior by spinning it into something positive. Their sin and passion is gluttony. Gluttony refers to their continual search to find true satisfaction and fulfillment in their lives through excitement, experiences, and stimulation. Sevens do not want to feel empty or void in any way. They chase after what they believe will satisfy their needs, wants, and desires. Gluttony gives a false sense of satisfaction and leaves sevens feeling empty, which causes them to start the cycle of pursuing fulfillment all over again. Sevens become hyper critical and controlling when they are exhausted. Core desires of sevens. To be happy, to be satisfied, to find fulfillment in life, to feel safe in their relationships, and to know they are loved and cared for. Their divine attribute is joy. Their core desire is to be free of limits. Their signature sin is gluttony. Their core fear is being trapped in emotional pain. Their heart longs to hear, you will be taken care of. Their healthy self-image is optimistic and energetic. The sevens are in the head triad. They are quick-minded and great multitaskers. They become overextended by taking on too many tasks. They avoid feeling sad, lonely, and depressed emotions that cause them anxiety. They are future-oriented. They are restless when stressed. They seek busyness to distract them from feelings of insecurity, and they fear abandonment and rejection. Sixes are full of vision and passion when fulfilling their purpose. Key seven motivations. Keeping their options open. Satisfying their desires. Exploring and enjoying life. Keep keeping painful emotions at bay, and being joyful and upbeat. Priorities for sevens. Staying upbeat and happy, avoiding negative conversations and situations, keeping feelings of sadness, anger, and fear at bay, and wondering what their future holds. How to get along with sevens. Provide an upbeat, positive environment. Allow them to express themselves without criticism. Allow them the freedom and flexibility to accomplish tasks in their own way. Encourage them to be creative and to think through the possibilities in front of them. And show them that you view them as smart and competent. 
confident. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos about the Enneagram Type 7. Please click subscribe and share my video with anyone that you feel might benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching. asshole desiring predictability and retinas what <laughs> please comment below if there's anything that I 